Bank of America Merrill Lynch lowering its 2010 growth forecast for global semiconductors and then downgrading 10 chip makers. But Cypress Semiconductor is not one of them. So what's the company doing right? Joining us now from San Jose, California, in a Fox Business exclusive is T.J. Rogers, president and CEO of Cypress Semiconductor. Great to see you here on Fox Business, T.J. I always love talking to you on, on a, just a variety of subjects. But first, let me get your thought on that downgrade. And do you see where those analysts are coming from? Uh, yes and no. The, it, it, one of the jokes out here is we have a big conference for all semiconductor companies in October, and the stocks are always in the tank in October. And in May, when, when we're headed into the second quarter and toward the big third quarter, the stocks are always up. So one of our jokes is if you want to have an, a fund, simply buy a basket of semiconductor companies. It doesn't really matter which one. Buy them in May and sell them in October, and just do that year <laughs> after year, and you can make money. Uh, this year... Uh, our companies are reporting better than expected results. And so we went through October, and, and oh, boy, they're pretty good. And then we get into November, and I think we finally got that. You know, Christmas is coming, and it's going to be cold after that panic. And, and I think they're pulling the plug. Uh, I, I just don't see it in the business, and the other companies I talk to are, are doing pretty well. How do you see holiday sales as we get closer and closer? Because personal electronics, and, and I think particularly Apple, for example, does not have any problem selling millions of these things. You've got the PSOC product, which is for touch products. That, that in, in essence, is going into more industrial and medical products. But we, you also make specialty chips that do go in those things. Are you expecting a mediocre and anemic holiday season? What are you looking for? Uh, they're, they're running this pretty ragged. You know, we're... I actually have a production meeting every every Monday to make sure I don't uh, short somebody and, and cause them not to be able to make everything they want. And, you know, the touch products you talked about, they're not only touch screens for, for medical and electronics, but, you know, cell phones. Um, Apple introduced the iPod a year, a year and a half ago, and it was a big hit. And we make an alternative uh, solution for a touch screen that uses different technology, and the world wants it. So we're we're seeing a lot of business right now. And, I, I, uh, I just don't see the, uh, the downgrade uh, that they see, but I'll give them, they do this for a living and they have broader bunch of connections than I do, so I'm not dismissing it. I, I'm just saying we don't see it. What do you see the global economic picture? Because you obviously sell all over the world, you manufacture elsewhere. Uh, do you think we're out of the woods in a big way? Uh, do you think that that's in the rearview mirror and that we've done the right things in this country or it's despite what we've done that we're climbing out of this thing? Um, for semiconductor companies, and we're typical, we know, we used to ship most of what we made to America, and it was a big feat if you ever got your exports up to 40% of your sales. We now ship two-thirds of what we make uh, export, and we, we only ship about 25% to the U.S. So uh, when we have an up or down, it's really more like how are things going in China uh, in, in the rest of uh, Asia than it is about the U.S. The U.S. is, is okay, nothing special. Um, frankly, it, it, I, I think we're not out of the woods yet. I, I think printing money is not the way to get out of a recession. And, and I think the job uh, picture is showing that. Uh, but fortunately for semiconductor investors, at least, uh, the markets aren't here that much anymore. Mm -hmm. Let's get to that printing money. Uh, you are a fierce proponent of free markets, and to that end, you've testified before Congress, what, I believe, more than five times or around five times. That's right. And at one point even saying that you advocate the elimination of subsidies for corporate America. So you don't think that the way to go is, uh, what, for example, what the Obama administration's talked a lot about is encouraging small businesses, giving them types of incentives to hire more people, that that's a positive thing? In, in general, no. It's, it's very simple. If, you give mo if, if a small business has money to spend, it will make decisions at a very local level and optimize itself. If a senator or a congressman is sitting in Washington and he says, we've got to do this, we've got to do that, he's going to be at least half wrong. The money that goes to Washington gets taken from those businesses to begin with, then about half of it comes back and, it, and is poorly targeted. In general, the government is a low 
productivity sec sector of the economy. Mm -hmm. And if you want to have growth in the economy, a bigger pie for everybody, you leave individuals and corporations with their money. You don't take it away from them, and they will grow and they will get better. And that's called a free market. It's known to work. Just ask East and West Germany, North and South Vietnam, North and South Korea. It's known to work. Socialism doesn't work. That's simple. TJ, uh, you must have been apoplectic when there were massive bailouts of companies like AIG who took major risks, wanted their profits privatized, but their losses socialized. And and Henry Paulson and, frankly, the Bush administration were the ones who said, bail these guys out now, and then the Obama administration brought up the rear. Yeah, you know, the, 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 the Bush administration, with regard to spending and budget, is the best Democratic administration we've had in a long time. They really, you know, all but they beat everybody except for Lyndon Johnson and spending. And, and I, I, I think, uh, the, the, you know, continuing it on with Obama is wrong. I, I believe that the companies that failed should have been allowed to fail. You know, if, if General Motors had been, uh, had to skinny down and shed some plants, uh, other more healthy companies, Toyota, Nissan, uh, would have picked up some of those plants and the world would have continued on. I was very much against the bailout. You know, the consequences of poor business management should be economic consequences. Mm. It, it shouldn't be the government coming in and bailing you out with someone else's money. T.J. Rogers of Cypress Semiconductor. Will you come back? And next time you're in New York, we'd love to have you here at Fox Business. Thank you. Anytime.